I don't know why I'm saying bananas. Bananas! Bananas. Bum 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 bada 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 bum 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 bada. Come on, you can do it. I don't believe in you. Well, finally, there we go. It's uh, a little far, yeah, behind me. But hey, I'm the Lightning Cat. How you doing, everybody? Welcome back at the mine, the Kayift. Well, I'm clearing out this area. I cleared out a lot of it. There used to be a big hill here. Now it's mostly flat. Mostly. And I'm going to be putting my tree farm in this little area. I say little because, well, why not? I've got llamas. Llamas, man, llamas. There's a couple of doggos over there, too. And Balto's sitting in my lap, huddled up underneath my arm while I'm playing. <laughs> it's just gonna make for interesting uh, ambulation on my part. That's just the oven. I turned it on. Don't worry about it, Balto. I set it to preheat because I'm I'm gonna cook something because I'm very hungry. I don't know what I'm gonna cook because I don't have a lot to cook. <laughs> I really don't. <laughs> yes, YouTubing on Disabirita. It's not as glamorous as I make it look. It's far worse. Hey, you said it, kid. Yuck. Uh, hello to you as well. Just finishing up this little area where I'm going to put a tree farm. Thankfully, I managed to get uh, most of my stone bricks done up ahead of time. This is the part of Minecraft that I don't think a lot of people show. The not so glamorous, repetitious, fixing things upside. <laughs> Prime example, I did a lot of tearing down of the mountain that I'm currently in the space where it used to be. It used to go up like uh, 10, 13 more blocks in height. I decided to do most of that without recording it. Because that's tedious. And this little bit that I'm doing right here is only a small fraction of what was. Okay, there we go. I'm almost done. It's like nine, ten more blocks. 
or so. I didn't accurately count. They're all gray. They all blend together. Now, up here is going to be my tree farm, so here's what I'll do. I'll move out all these blocks, and I'll leave most of that dirt intact, just because it'll be easier. It doesn't have to look pretty, it just has to work. <clears throat> I can make it look pretty later and then show it off next time. Baldo, don't look at me like that. You know I'm insane. Uh, let's see. One, two. Yeah, I'm going to leave two spaces there. Actually, there we go. I want this bit here so I can hop up on whatever it is going to be there. A little foothill, as it were. Balto, you're making me moving my arm real difficult here. Please stop moving around so much. I broke another one. What's this? Oh, okay. That's a Facebook notification. I will get to that later. Not right now. <laughs> Okay, let's see. Yeah, I'm just going to cram the dirt in and then start planting trees and placing torches. Okay, that's decent enough to start with, at least for my purposes right now. Ooh, egg. I gotta get that. Okay, good. It didn't disappear. I just didn't hear it go make the plinky sound. Okay, I have dirt over here. Put all this cobblestone in first. Uh, put that, that, and that, and that. There we go. That's decent enough for me. Okay, now I'll plant some trees and get them started because I am going to absolutely need those. And right here, here we go, here's some trees. Put those right there 
And I'll need to make some more torches, so... And... Nye -nye -nye -nye. Torches and trees. Okay, one, two, three... Yeah, right about there. And I'll have to fix that later. And light up the whole line. It actually does make the trees grow a bit faster. It's nice. Um, yeah, you're gonna go right there, because I'm, like, OCD about this. And I'm, I'll straighten out this. There we go. I got my tree farm started. At the very least, I got my tree farm started. Yay! Now that's gonna... Oh, there we go. I need to get my axe and start chopping away, apparently. Uh, I'm gonna put you guys back. Got an axe. Yeah, Balto, at the same time, I can't pet you and play this game. <laughs> Jeez. Okay. There we go. Break some of these, get some saplings back. Hello, Llama. How are you? Oh, there's one. Alright, there we go. I've got some more saplings to plant. I'll refill the spots where I already took them out. And toss down this other one right now. There we go. That's good and started. It's underway. It's going. <sighs> oh, there's another one. Alrighty, I'll take it. In just a few minutes, I'm going to have to end this and go and, and finish fixing me something to eat. And because, uh... I move these streams over to my YouTube channel. No, I'm not letting anyone join this world. I'm not doing that just yet. Maybe later. Don't know when.
Uh, thanks for not uh, flipping out like the last few people about it. Uh, yeah, put the stone right there. And make some more pickama axums. <clears throat> right. Oh, move that right there. Put you right here and get a little bit more. Pick up my axioms. Oh, yeah, yeah, why not? No, totally. When I get enough uh, stuff together to do some enchanting, I'll just rename my pickaxe to pick up my axiom. Totally. Uh, speaking of enchantments, I wish they hadn't have changed it to where you can't have the infinity and mending on a bow. Yeah, I really enjoyed, like, putting that together. Yeah, my argument for that is, yeah, we spent the uh, time to get those enchant levels, and we spent those enchant levels to put those enchants on those items, and we should be able to put whatever we want on whatever we want because we spent that effort. It's not the game devs uh, prerogative to take that away from us because we spent the time to earn that. And on top of that, it supports everyone's agency in gaming, or in Minecraft that is. And I summarize something up with that word agency. Basically, it's a uh, it's that little excerpt from the Declaration of Independence where it says, uh, "We hold these truths self-evident that all men are created with certain inalienable rights, and that among these rights are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness." What is gaming but the pursuit of happiness? So it's the game dev's responsibility to uphold and promote that right, as well as the creative thinking process that allows people to have, well, to quote Star Trek, infinite possibilities and infinite combinations. Or rather, an all if null of that, because, you know, gaming can't be infinite. In depth? Well,. <laughs> yeah, yeah. When when you're talking about reality, it gets real deep that way. However, that's only shallow as far as I see it. That's like an inch deep of water in a puddle. And it gets it gets way deeper because then you, you think you want infinite possibilities and infinite combinations. Well, what if aliens play these games? You think about that. People from other planets playing these video games. What do they have to say about it? What kind of representation of human culture is the video game industry at our current state of being? And the current evolutionary process of humanity? Now, now we're into one foot worth of water. Like Q from Star Trek said, it's not the games that humanity plays that defines it, it's how they play these games. So how are we playing these games? Okay, that's a lot of dirt to fill in. I'm gonna get rid of this stack of dirt, then I'll say adieu. Meanwhile, 
my my friend cat Balto, he is licking a hole in my arm with a remote. <laughs> okay, that's a nice way to joke around with it. It's nice to have a sense of humor. Don't ever lose that. I finished that stack of dirt and got another egg. Balto, please stop licking a hole in my arm. Right, uh, thanks for watching. Yeah, when this hits YouTube, uh, it, I don't know when. I'll schedule it. When you go to my YouTube channel, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, and join my Patreon and support my channel today. Yep, see ya. Bye-bye.